Welcome, my beautiful people, to another Donnie and Lee Reacts. I just want to update you on the last reaction video, which you may have seen appear on YouTube and then disappear, was because I got striked. Literally, YouTube came over and gave me a slap because I was doing naughty antics, apparently, on the YouTube's policies. And when I read the policies and did my training, did my training, um, I realized that when we do reactions, we have to pause the video and talk. So we'll be doing that properly in YouTube's world. And we're going to record it and upload it. And then we'll test this again in live stream format in the future. Anyway, to stop rambling, I'm going to bring on Lily, who's going to be chatting away with us. Give us a round of applause and a cheer for Lee. Are you? Was you expecting that kind of um, reception there? Um, I've, uh, I've, uh, you know, if to be honest, it made me feel a little bit cringy inside. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd yeah, I'd rather have that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we have got. I've got. I've got a selection of eight different tones. So you're going to get wow. the same one quite a bit. Brilliant. <laughs> have uh, you got crickets at least i uh, sadly no i've oh, got drums you, drums you... last gar i've got this <laughs> yeah you're gonna need crickets more than that <laughs> <laughs> and that and that one maybe um, oh all right like, i'm, I'm prejudging you already <laughs> <laughs> Please don't judge me. So we're going to be reacting and watching. His name is it Jamie's. I think it's Jamie's. Jamez video on creepy videos and stories. It is. It's Jamie's spell in a particular way, which Americans like to do. I'm assuming oh. he's American already. I think he is, but he's got a bit of an accent. So Maybe he's know. Canadian then. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we... kidding, don't kill me <laughs> this, this is our first reaction video To the Weird, creepy Collection of videos that are put out there uh, We don't mean like pervy Weird, weird creepy, we just mean like oh, This is already going bad <laughs> <laughs> So let's give it a play um, And <laughs> Stop <back>. Just <laughs> Let's make him. Right. Let's make him bigger. Actually, <laughs> there we go. Oh, dear God! All right. So, what what is he talking about? Just random stuff, yeah. So, the title of these videos is scary. Why no one talks about these creepy videos? And each channel is a reaction video. Shout out to James or Jamie's <laughs> for these videos. It called. It came up on my suggestions. I thought I'll have a look, and I thought actually. That's quite one. That's quite that perks my interest for like the open new tab thing and reactional videos as well. So I'll play it through, and then we just um have a little turn on what we think about what is going on. I just realised his hat's pretty funky. <laughs> James, you're watching one of the best reaction channels on the internet. If you're into strange, creepy, mysterious videos, you are in the right place. If you're into strange, creepy, mysterious, that's why I've got Lee here. <laughs> <laughs> He's been called worse, don't worry. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but before yeah, we go on, I ask you please do subscribe <laughs> to the channel with notifications on. Smash that like button. So the first video, on. let's jump into it. It's this one. <laughs> I already know what that <laughs> is. <laughs> In the distance. Yeah, I already know what that is. Bro, I'm dead ass. You want to there's a reason why no one's talking about it. <laughs> whoa, 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 there's another one there. <laughs> Wait, loads of them. Are you true? I'm not gonna say it because I know a lot of people are gonna say it, but it looks like flares. So he says they're flares. That's what his answer was. No, no. <laughs> At the beginning, you do kind of see like a lens reflection. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Like a, uh, a glare. Was it that at the beginning? The, the green the, dots just before. Uh, there. That. Yeah. 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 That. That. 
Okay. Like, so I, I assume that was coming from the headlights, weren't it? The opposite direction. Those two lights, what? green dots reflecting. So the lights in the sky, right? Um, These two dots are the headlights from this car, aren't they? I'm assuming that there's a highway okay, I see it. somewhere in the distance, in the distance yep. or either direction, right? right? Like in front or behind. Yep. Like in, uh, I think it was the 60s or the 70s, like the, the thing that uh, the Close Encounters movie was sort of based on. There's a phenomenon captured, and you can still capture it. Like, you go out into, I think it's like the the desert or whatever, where there's a highway, yep. and you can see lights in the sky, and it's headlights of cars yep. from a highway driving in the distance, and the light is being bent, and captured in the vapor in the in the sky or whatever, like it's a it's a captured phenomenon. It's well documented. Mm. This looks very vapory like, as well. It does look very misty when it's foggy yeah. or an overcast night. You get that that this bend. I I I'm not a scientist. I'm just I've seen so many accounts of it, and it's like it's weird and it's uh, so strange. But you think like blinking lights is like indicators do you know what i mean um straight lights moving around obscurely it's just focus i've seen headlights come through and reflect off my car or me in a tent when i'm in the middle of a forest like no ran but the light just it travels distances and it bounces absolutely um yeah but yeah it's strange it, it's very strange yeah and uh, you can see it looks like it's a very misty night there as well. Like it looks yeah. like it's foggy. Um, so yeah, this one, well, maybe it's the first time you ever saw it in life and it caught you off guard walking down the street. Maybe you would go, Oh, what was that? Oh, I've maybe, seen I've seen um, stuff that is very weird, like hmm. that, even more weird. Um yeah. but you know, it can be explained. Yeah. You know? So this one, that's Whether not you believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, so this one's not really anything. It's not, it's not creepy. It's not scary. It's like, nah. oh, that's interesting. I wonder yeah. what that is. You see the thing. I mean, it looks like the cars are moving down a hill, like you said. I'll, I'll be honest, though, right? If I just woke up oh. and I was half awake, yeah. right, and I saw amber maybe reddish sort of color lights <laughs> right in the sky i would probably be very quick to believe oh that sort of looks like flares what's going on mm. i don't hear a bang like yeah. for fireworks flares don't give off a bang the phosphorus is just mm. as they go off but you don't hear it but um yeah yeah, it's strange, but more curious than strange, it. Strange, but explainable. Kind of, you can explain it. You can see what's sort of going on. Yeah. Um, if you was caught off guard, it you know it yeah. probably be uh, unsettling. But then yeah. you know, yeah. Right. Something else. So this is coming in from Victor Bad on TikTok. He does urban exploration videos, and some of them he comes face to face with really creepy things. And this is one of those videos. They're riding their motorbike in the countryside. I understand this is in France, and then all of a sudden they come across a very creepy situation. Check this out. So he's uh exploration guy from France, and he sees something creepy. I mean, do you wanna do you wanna translate this French quickly? <laughs> un uh, un holy un plein campaign. Uh, okay, so uh, you'll be better with <laughs> French than me. <sighs> well, that, camp is? campaign is, uh, I I'm assuming campaign in French is more like journey. So, right, and a, a, a strange inconvenience on that journey, something okay. like that. I'm, I'm, I, I, I paraphrasing, guessing. A guess of a paraphrase, rather. Yeah, we'll we'll, tr we'll trust you. That no, 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 I don't think it's correct at all. What, what is what is so what is they cry? must be on those Cree, yeah. 
All right, and now that, 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 that yeah, this is what I mean. You're the host. You should be doing this. Um, with right, the star. Um, Actually, yes. If I'm the host, then it should be my helper doing it with me as well. <laughs> Great. My, my expert. French. Who knows French more than me? <laughs> more than me. You see, you're already speaking <laughs> French. Oh, more than me. <laughs> yeah, you see? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that was, cry, uh, that was cry. cry it's cry in english right. it's cry uh or sorry cree is french for cry uh, oh it's that i think they're saying there's someone making a noise Do you hear oh that? go on that's that's not there it's not that's is it? not there that is not. That is completely. <laughs> That's like... All right, look. You listen to the engine, right, of yeah. the external microphone, and you can hear it sort of muffly. Mm. It's external, right? So a lot of sound is lost. Right. Listen to the guy shout. He's muffly. How clear is that to the guy saying, "Oh, mm. oh, it's it's not the same." Mm. This is not. <laughs> oh, he's so freaky. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like it's. It sounds. In, it sounds internal. <laughs> no, what it sounds like, right, is they've recorded something. Going, oh, what we'll do is just stop, and then we'll put a scream, and it'll be like we're reacting to a scream, right? Yeah, that's and what then I'm they put the scream in later. Yeah, internal. Oh, internal, an, right, sorry. An internal right. building, so it's not... They're not yeah, it's it not... ...inside the device. It's um, it's like a canned thing that they're yeah. putting over the top. That's yeah. what I mean, yeah. It's not live scream, you know. It's not even someone is in the bushes going, ah! Yeah. And the thing is, well, like... It's hilarious. If you, if you actually heard that kind of scream, <laughs> would, you, would you still be walking up? Casually like that, filming it. Well, he's got all right. So if you've got a video uh recorder on your helmet, which a lot of motorcyclists do these days mm. for insurance purposes alone, let alone for videos, it would still be recording, right? Mm. So that's 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 not something that would really come into it, right? Um, especially if they thought something's wrong, you know, you're recording for that reason. Um, those but, screams were not normal screams. So if you heard those uh, screams, you those would be getting... sort, those sort of screams in real life. Mm. Like if so, like that's a performer, right? But if it was a real scream like that, that would be blood curdling, yeah. right? You, you. There's only one reason why you would run towards it, and that's because you would want to try and save mm. the person. But th let's be honest, right? There is such a small few that would do that, and the majority of those small few Uh, pathologically have something different about them, whether they're psychopathic, sociopathic, like they don't get those cues. Yeah, well, let's see what happens next, because... <laughs> it's... It's too clear. Mm. It's going away, it's the same volume. Yeah. It's... <laughs> It, yeah. it doesn't even change direction to them. Like, it's, yeah. There seems to be someone screaming from under the bridge, right? And at first, I thought it could be a voiceover or a voice layer that someone yeah. did on the video, so it could be fake. And there's a part two and a part three. If you start listening to it, it really sounds as if it's coming from under the bridge. So this is where uh, yeah, I because if... what is going on here. Why is there someone screaming from under the bridge? And why are they just recording it? Shouldn't they be calling the cops or something like that? So this is what happens. Check this out. Well, he's been screaming for 30 seconds now, like that. In, in it, real life, 
the person would have passed out. Yeah. Or they're dead. Mm. Yeah. And they're still parking their bikes up, looking at each other going. The, the thing is, they're not even reacting to the scream as it happens. Mm. That's the thing. Like, they put the overlay to a point where they're looking different. Yeah. But it's not a reaction to a scream. You would either be jumping, not expecting it, or you would be like, you know, like you would be grimacing, like you'd be wanting to do something, whether it's like flee or go start fighting someone. Like there would be a human reaction. That's just the, oh, yeah, what are we doing? Oh, we're going over here now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what they. Apparently, there's two parts to this. Or yeah, yeah. Let's parts. see. Let's see if it improves. It's not changing. So, like, they're gonna no. Check it out for it, the direction it. isn't changing. It's direct on oh every all the time. Don't go there, guys. Why? I'm like, call the cops. I mean, yeah, that level of screaming there. You wouldn't be. We'll be casually walking down like that either. Even if it was real, you would either yeah, be direct onto that noise so, straight no, away, or you would be straight on the phone and being like, the fuck is got you know call the cops. something yeah, just yeah. Mm, it the, an extreme reaction to an extreme noise. So what does he do? He gets his phone out and checks what his social media posts. <laughs> it's a, what's that? Yeah. What? What's he doing there? He's fine. He's, he's check, he checks his messages. Well, that's, that's what he's checking doing, his yeah. messages. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course you would. Yeah, yeah. A natural thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah. One yeah. second. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> check my email first. Yeah. yeah. Sh shut up. Now I have to start all over again. I forgot where I was. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Again, it's the same volume. It would same be volume. louder. Mm. Even if the direction was changing, it would be getting louder. It's not... Nothing is... Mm. It, it's not real. Like, this is how people know when something's real or not. Mm. When someone gets freaked yeah. out, it's because a noise happens in a direction that they are not looking. Yeah. And then they go, what the fuck was that? <laughs> like... <laughs> Whether it freaks them out or not, you look. <laughs> so you he's shouting back at it. <laughs> at what? The the thing is, it is clearly him <laughs> shouting. <sighs> It's the same noise. <laughs> it's the same person doing the noise. At least use someone else's scream. Fault Montreux. Kies Le Patron. Oh, probably follow us on uh, our Patreon or something. Please subscribe to our Patreon so we can yeah. make more noises. Oh, dear God. This is like blood currently bad. <laughs> I bet this went viral, and I bet they got thousands of views for this shocking oh, piece of. Pop Pop now four? that he oh started gosh. doing crap. What is going on? Okay, so this is part three. Let's check this out. I mean, there's no one there. Is that it? Monsieur! Who the heck is screaming? Oh! I mean, he's, he's cursing a lot, okay, so and there's not a lot going on. Speakers and he's not... And they just planned this. The, the level he's reacting does not equate to what is being said is going on. Mm. It's not human. Yeah. Even, would like, that... You would even not react. You would be curious, like, oh, uh, what, uh, what's going on here, you know? Or you would be the fuck... That there would be none or yeah. a lot, not this. Oh, oh, put on. Oh, oh, like, uh, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, oh, 
oh, oh, oh, something's going on. Oh, oh, is it? No, <laughs> no, dude, no, it's not real. That's not a real situation. They're, they're trying to set it as real by the, um, it, it's strange, um, humanoid, and what was it now, like? Um, I tell, invisible I tell you sound. what, I tell you what would have been more creepy. If the whole thing was just silent, except for the footage, with a little bit of background sound, like a, a synth, like a like a drone, right? They pull up like they did. They walk down to the well, just very slowly moving through it. It's a it's an interesting looking place, and it could be sold as being creepy hmm. if they was heading a story, but being like, oh, oh, this screaming, oh, oh, it's like no, they, they, it's not. It, they can. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yes. No, it's very poorly it, put together. It wasn't even B movie rating. This, mm. this is because they're, I mean, they seem too brave. Yeah. In a real situation like this, and there's someone screaming like that, you would probably call the cops. Or it's not brave. Observe a little more to make sure that you're not going and, you know, getting yourself into trouble. This is what I think. I could be wrong. I want to know your thoughts. Coming in from Reddit. Yeah, I don't. That's if another... anything, if anything, that even if we was to believe the screams, even if we was to believe the situation, their reaction to it is not human. Mm. It's not. It, it, it's not in relation to the level of what you hear. Yeah, none of it's believable. You would be rushing in, or you would be calling in a phone. Oh, blah 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 blah. blah we're here. Oh, oh, we're hearing the screams. Oh, oh, you know. Yeah, none of it's, none of it's, none of it's believable. <laughs> Something. None of it's, it's got UAP, UFO flies past four military oh, right. helicopters in Poland. So a UAP is the new UFO. Yes, unidentified aerial phenomena. Yeah. Um, so we've got four here. And apparently it says flies past them. So let's have a look. The title says UFO flies past four military helicopters in Poland. Let's check this out. Huh, interesting. They're the choppers, okay, right? I didn't see anything. The Chop choppers yeah. uh, seem to be at an average speed. So this thing isn't like whooshing past by the choppers at light speed or something like that. But even so, mm -hmm. this is interesting. That's there not light speed. Like if it was light like speed, you wouldn't see it. <laughs> Is it a military drone or is it something else? So it's a star. On... Yeah, it, two it's weeks ago. It's a satellite. It's a satellite. Give me a satellite, yeah. I saw a shooting star two weeks ago over my head. Yeah. Going about the same sort of speed. Woof. It's it's in the no, atmosphere. It's, it's in or above the atmosphere. It's not mm. next to those helicopters. Mm. Yeah. If it was, those helicopters would have moved... They would have changed mm. course. They would have reacted to that light. Yeah. Normal because experience on TikTok. You would have thought it was a missile or something. Yeah. Video the title says something fell from the sky in Kamloops, British Columbia. Yeah. Check this okay. out. Fell from the sky in Kamloops, BC. That that wind, all that noise sounds like the guy screaming again in the head now. <laughs> that oh that wind can be creepy though, man. Nothing. Mm. Creepier than the wind through a valley. The title Let's go again. The title says something fell from the sky in Kamloops, British Columbia. Check this out. Fell from the sky in Kamloops, BC. Lightning. I don't see anything. Oh, that white thing. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Me, all right. It's very common. Zoom. Oh, yeah. wow. What was that? To me, all right. Do you think? <laughs> yeah. You look at the, the the tail of it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's got wow. a beautiful tail. That's that's. Look at that. I don't think Great. it is. It looks. What what trick goes? It goes in front of the man. It looks like a raindrop. No, it goes behind it. It's going behind it. Doesn't. Yeah, wow, see that? That is yeah. something indeed. Passes in front That's of it. That's not an insect. Or That's not in front of it. Really that is. That's on the valley. The camera lens. That's a raindrop or something. Not like coming down the lens. Oh, you reckon it's a raindrop on the lens? Yeah. 
That would make more sense. It's an overcast day. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, you know, you're something. absolutely right. That's not an insect. Or the the movement. Just... Yeah. yeah it's so if like something it. if something actually fell from the sky like that, mm. I mean directly, you know, in British Columbia, it's a meteorite. So what? Yeah. You know, uh, it's common. Like, but that like that Especially absolutely that is water the lens. it's just it's, it's just the way it lands like, on the front of yeah. the thing it's, it's still it's, on the it's, lens it's, it's, it's the, the path it moves mm. it's not even straight it, it streaks almost but, like lightning mm. and water. i can i can see the mountain behind it through it yes that's what i was about to say like if it was something mm. falling it would be hot so therefore yeah. there will be a lot of light so there might be some glare mm. which would explain it but it, still it there's nothing unordinary here Doesn't or extraordinary no. it's not the ground so there's this certainly thing. not extraterrestrial no no <laughs> right this is like uh uh history channel aliens <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. i got nothing against stuff just it's not that. It's got to be more than a raindrop. <laughs> um, it's got to be more than a direct raindrop or lights in the sky. Yeah. So a bit more. So this is the Chronovisor Official. Imagens du Vaticano. So it's images of the Vatican. Revelem at the Chussel de Reto Pedos Aliens. So, so aliens destroy. I mean, you really could just speak into your phone. And say, translate, bloody blah. Mm. Go for it. We can edit. Go oh, for I'll, it. I ain't got Latin on my phone. No, yeah. no, just uh, type it in. Trans oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll quickly do it. I don't mind. It might even be quicker doing it like this. Yeah. Destru yeah, Destructo. So, yeah, something like aliens destroying something. Well, Vaticano. That's the Vatican, isn't it? In Latin, I Vaticano. I believe so. Uh, it, it, Images. Vatican's. Do Vaticano. Levely. Uh, this. Dwekal. Do. You get the. Pelos Elians. It's one word that hasn't changed. Pe Pelos. Aliens. Uh, Elians, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chronovisor is the time travel machine, isn't it? I think, isn't it? I f sounds, sounds likely. Yeah, sounds, sounds durable. Uh, translation? I assume it's Latin. Latin into English. Uh, theory that the Vatican has a hold of a chronovisor, a machine that can supposedly see into the future and past. And these. Brazil and Portuguese. Okay. To see into the future and the past. That's what the chronovisor can, apparently. And it's in the Vatican still, as you said. Supposed leaked videos of this chronovisor on TikTok. At first, I thought that maybe this is AI, and I'm pretty sure it possibly is. But... The fact it's leaked video on TikTok already makes me doubt it. <laughs> I didn't even need to say anything. <laughs> uh, uh. A time machine that's hidden in the Vatican that is top secret gets exposed by somebody on TikTok. Yeah. And they manage, and they film it in action. This person on TikTok, All right? Let's watch this then. It's kind of interesting. Let's check this out. Look at that. You're too polite, mate. If it is CGI okay or computer graphics, it's really, really, really don't, well done, don't. even though it is in black and white. He's very polite, isn't he? <sighs> yes. 
I think the reason it is black and white he's is not because... he's not he's not polite. He's blase and yeah, just yeah. Uh, I think it's black and white because it's it can hide the errors of their CGI editing. <laughs> I I think it's not even that well done. Yeah. But if it was in colour, it'd look even worse, I reckon. It yeah, it's not. Yeah. If it is CGI or computer graphics, I'm trying to think really, of what movie it really, would have been from. Really well done, even though it is in black and white. Look at the level of detail. I reckon that's just modern day AI. Just saying, do a pyramid blown up in black and white by a spacecraft. That might even be possible <laughs> if it is um, done recently. It's yeah, even plausible, but it's not. It's not physical. No. It's not a real explosion. Details. No. And if it was back in time, Too clean. what was they filming it on then? So that means not only did they have a time machine, they also had a phone or a camera to film with when they travelled back in time to film this moment. But the Egyptians and not the Hebrews, they were very methodical well, about documenting things that happened. I was about to say, like, the, the first instances of real film goes back to the 1800s 19th century maybe even the 18th century photography goes back to 15th century i think pinhole mm. isn't it i don't know if it's that oh i know the, the old thingy psh, explosive ones they had Oh, that oh was, that's, like, that, that's, that's, it... that's that's yeah, no, that's uh, seventeen, eighteen hundreds. Like, um, I'm not that accurate. I'm not a historian, but like, um, yeah, like, even if it was around the First World War, yeah, Boer War, First World War, end of eighteen hundreds, mm. beginning of nineteen hundreds, like, where you would have this detail of photography uh, in yeah. video form but if somebody was videoing that right we would be at war with aliens <laughs> so the, the oldest surviving film on record they're saying is 1888 right well, there you go um, right and I'm pretty sure that's not it <laughs> that's definitely not it no no. <laughs> That's crazy. Look behind the pyramids, you can see what looks like a neighborhood or something like that. Look at that. Well, no, you can't. That's just squiggly lines, mate. <laughs> it's not even squiggly lines, it's polygons. <laughs> Look behind it, you can see a neighborhood. What? That that's what you said. That level of explosion would have knocked the cameraman or person flying. That, that I mean, it's yeah, it's, look at the, these events. Why? Now, why did it only I do the top particular... of the pyramid? Like, mm. you know, and the other pyramids. Got no and damage. why is it contrasted out rather yeah. than? Yeah. Uh, even on black and white footage, that is not what happened. <laughs> might be it's fake. not. It might be fake. It might be fake. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> dude, really? Like, I don't mean to like. You know, mate, this video is so 500... mean about your 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 level of intelligence, right? But if you're if seriously, if you honestly consider that to be might be fake, yeah, yeah, you know, you, yeah, you might you might need a helper. Yeah, just, just to keep he's got you safe. that video's got so that video we're watching. He's got five hundred thousand views. This guy's got one hundred eighty-five thousand subscribers. Oh. Man, like wow. th this guy, he's he's famous for like reviewing creepy. Oh, is he? I've never seen him before. Uh, he's his voice is copied so much now, right? Because it they people think, oh, it's him, right? So they try and mimic him to get views and stuff. So you get a lot. Of, there's even AI voices that do it now. There's like even. Though it's very creepy. Oh, right. it's very creepy. I can't do his voice, but the the, <laughs> the at all. 
Like yeah. I can't, I can't mimic anyone. But like my point is, like people do it. Like he, he's got a very well-known tone. Right. Whether it's gimmick or not, I don't care. Like it's very well known now. Right. Um. But yeah, it's just come on, man. He's probably running at material blessings. Yeah. Yeah. This chrono visor. This is supposed to be Noah's Ark. Check this out. Ah, uh, it's a barn. Why have they filmed it like this again, though? What's that walking? It's meant to make it feel creepy. It's right. not. And all it is is an 80s distortion overlay in any free video thing with a bit of glitching. Yep. The level it's, it's... of details is what gets me. You know, this is... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? The fact that there's a barn with a cow loader <laughs> so that cow can't oh, get out. The it's a slaughterhouse. What? It's a well, slaughterhouse, dude. To... Mm. That's I mean, my in, guess. In perspective as well, looking at that, that could be only that big. And he's placed it that on the floor. Be. I mean... You know what I mean? Like, you can't really... You can't tell what it is. That could be tufts of grass coming up. But realistically, <laughs> if they're trees and that's a valley, that's a, a, a long barn. Mm. And the only thing really that's like that that I'm aware of are cattle houses. So like milking dairy farms mm. where you keep them in for milking. Or slaughterhouses because they go down a line and they yeah. have like uh almost like drawbridges so that once they go in, it goes up, nothing can get out, they can yeah, only yeah. go in one direction. Um, although to be honest, it's hard to see if there, e even if that was true, mm. if it was in color, you might be able to see yeah. runs, but you can't. So at the moment, none of, none of these, none of these are sold, sold it to me, but I would like to do an <laughs> open new tab on that word. We saw a minute ago, that chrono thing. Right. Chrono vision. The chrono saying that's in the Vatican. I'd like to do an open new tab on that in the future. So we can see what is actually the story behind this apparently hidden device in the Vatican. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd like to actually know what though that, those words are actually saying because mm. nothing is coming up with a translation or anything like that so it could be nonsense for all right. we know if anyone watches this that knows what those words were put them in the comments please let us know i cannot find Videos it i'm not researching chronovisor right chronovisor so yeah. yeah i'm not sure about this one coming in from the southwest explorers on tiktok they have very interesting videos and in one of them, they find what looks like some sort of underground entrance in the Grand Canyon. Check this out. This is part one. Alright, here we go. We've got close. That looks like a like either a presidential war bunker or something for protection, isn't it? Nuclear shell. What well, well, that concrete? Yeah. Planet of the Apes. If you've seen the new one. If it is anything, no, yeah, no it's either uh, a silo. Mm -hmm. Shelter or storage, as in yeah, nuclear. <laughs> yeah, because no one's gonna go there. The Grand no, they built it into the Grand Canyon mountain. Yeah, it's in the mountain, so it's it's well, nuclear oriented. You know it is. Mm -hmm. Right, it's what? got a air tube. Oh yeah, no, it's certainly a, either a silo or a bunker. Huh. Yeah, huh. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. cool, isn't it? So... Yeah. And there's the hatch. It's like Fallout, isn't it? It's a bit like Fallout. There's, I mean, again, what's right creepy here. about this? It's not creepy. I think, I think it's, it's really cool. It's, it's interesting. Mm. Curious, if anything. It's not... No, nah, it's not no, creepy. Weird. That is... Oh, mate, that is proper How carved in, isn't it? Mm. So, I wonder, I wonder if the Grand Canyon is granite. Have a look because that's that you know, granite and obsidian are, the, are pretty much the most hardcore rocks, I think. Uh, three rock main layers sets the Grand Canyon a group based on position and common composition, metamorphic basement rocks, 
Precambrian, right. Grand Canyon Supergroup, and Paleozoic Strata. So what does it actually mean? <laughs> <laughs> English, please, or layman's? Well, it, it, it's carved out, so there's going to be layers. Like, there's going to be an element of uh, mm. sedimentary because things are going to be carried by the glaciers that were carried down from the north. Oh, it says nearly 40 identified rock layers from the Grand Canyon walls. Well, I'll leave that. Uh, okay, fair enough. So, yeah, <laughs> rock is hard. We know that. So let's just go with that. <laughs> yeah. And this is like... It's in the mountain. Mm. It's in the goddamn canyon yeah. in the desert. <laughs> what is that thing? That's the question. This is part two. Check this out. Was Far thought, away yes, from a city. we have found into this thing is through this. What's that say? He... Wait, what? What does it say? USF uh, United what States. Is, what does it say there? USF huh. something. United States Federation. It is just perched yeah. here on this. Let's have a look. It's USF. military. It's military. That I mean so either which way you don't want to go in there usf is university of south florida so it's probably not is that it? so what is that other word he said is can you, can you catch that other word fabrication okay so the only way we have found into this thing is grand canyon is nowhere near florida no it's not uh, no. we're not american Ooh. and i i even know that Fat is that an if that Fat. looks like fabrication? Well, USF fabrication, let's search that. That literally USF looks like USF fabrication. Fabrication Grand Canyons come up as the first search word. Yeah, that is fabrication without a doubt. USF Fab is the largest engineering team in the industry. Um, USF Fabrication manufactures a full line of floor access doors, full prevention products, and metal grating. Well, that checks out. That's exactly what that is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a floor access panel. Yeah. <laughs> so all we know is the per person that made the door. We don't know what. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh, exactly. That's... This could be a cool open new tab one if we could actually research and find out what that building is. Look, look, it again. What is in the Grand Canyon? That that could be access to lights that run along where people might view, where people go to a viewing platform and have a look and bloody blah, blah, blah. You know, mm. that could be for anything. Just because there is a metal hatch, right? In a Grand Canyon or in a desert doesn't mean much hmm. other than realistically, again, if you found something like that, maybe you don't want to go down there. Like lawfully for 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 anything else. Like, you know, hmm. you might go into a black site and never be heard of again. <laughs> Thing is that isn't there a place somewhere in Europe where they have a mountain and inside the mountain they have all the um, seeds stored away? So if the world did go to put, I hope they could then replant all the plants. Uh, yeah. I, if I remember correctly, that might be Greenland. To Greenland or Iceland? Like, if I remember correctly, it's one of the sort of Scandinavian or ex-Scandinavian right. countries. Like. Yeah, in the mountain, it's called. I think it's called the Ark, where they've start right. they uh, a seed for everything, so that they could re regrow Re if yeah. there was a problem. Yeah, so it could even be something like that, couldn't it? A, a, a stored solution or something could even be that. It could be anything, but again, there would be a lot of consequences going down a hatch like that. Mm. You know, and even then, it wouldn't be only um, kept shut. By a simple square key, which mm. any um, emergency services has. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah, it's locked, mate. You can't pull it. There? I'm going to come wait, up. Wait, wait. It's locked. What does it say there? <laughs> huh. 
the way that he says that it's like oh oh that must be really the hmm. the ha oh. and like it cuts and it goes back and he's like oh i would guarantee you it's like oh that might be so oh no it's just oh hmm. <laughs> What's disappointing is this guy is massive now of all this stuff, and he didn't even bother to research the name of the door handle. Guys, if you want details as well as mockery and jokes and stuff, <laughs> stay with us in the future, because if we see a word on the door that's meant to be secret and creepy, we're going to search it. Not just go, uh. Hey, i tell you what, while we're here on this video, I've got a dad joke for you. Go for it. Why do geologists love metal? Why did the geologist like metal? Yeah. Because it's hard rock. <laughs> <laughs> For all the dads out there. <laughs> cheers to your hard rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But it is just perched up here. It is pretty cool, though. On the side of this cliff. I mean, it's beautiful if you uh, look at it. Just the the lines of it compared to the background. Side, mm. All right, it might just be con poured concrete. No it looks like concrete, but see? it it has an odd beauty to it to the background. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like a... They've tried to blend it in as well as they could, haven't they, to keep it? Uh, I mean, Very it's grey on grey, mm. really. But yeah, yeah you're right. Sure it's what? Yeah, that that that's of it. And fallen rock is fallen on it. You can clearly yeah. tell yeah, that's fallen rock. rock. Oh, yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence! There's a huge rock on top of that. Not coincidence. Uh, no Completely no normal. Look, there's fallen rock everywhere. That's the man box collapsed around it. Come on, dude. I don't know if that rock. And yeah, that is beautiful. That, of course, you didn't see strategically. Out of there. <laughs> strategically <laughs> <laughs> placed. <laughs> Fuck her now. Um, even if it was, that's even more do, reason you do not want to go down there. Right here, mm. but... One thing about it, though, if that rock, well, it depends where it fell from. Might have done damage. Yeah, a lot of damage. Oh, you that... Think that, that pipe might have popped off. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that it's fallen off of a cliff That's face on it. I'm thing? suggesting it slid down like everything yeah. else would have done. Yeah. But even then, you well, probably would have expected have a little bit more damage. But again, I would mm. agree if it was placed on top, though, mm. even more reason you do not want to go down somewhere like that. If you no, find somewhere you. like that in the middle of nowhere, okay, if you would go down a conspiracy route, all mm. right, let's say it's a lab. Mm. Where they conduct all God knows what secrets, you know, nerve agents or whatnot, nuclear, God knows what. Who cares, right? Something they could really harm you and everyone else if it got out. Yeah. No one's going to come across this, but just in case, mm. going to make it as difficult as possible. I mean, there would be a lot more. I would hope put in place for something like that, but still, like. If you're going to go conspiracy route and like, oh, someone's put this on top so we can't get in, that means you shouldn't go in there. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, and I think if it was also, if it was as secret as it would be, there'd probably be a bit more security with it and not just a giant rock. Again, yes. Military. Again. Cameras. Yes. Even if it stuff. was forgotten about, completely forgotten about for some yeah. reason, right? Which has happened, has happened, mm. you know? But still, like, th this... Yeah, no. <laughs> no, just there's so say, many things. It's if people do watch serious, this, but... I know you watch these videos because you would like to get lost in it. And I looked at yeah. the comments and people are loving it. And me and Lee at the moment have just poo-pooed everything. Um... <laughs> not, 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 not poo-pooing, right? Like, <laughs> in your words. And just... Like I, I'm just being realistic and logical with what I see, right? We truly believe all of them so far. <laughs> we're just trying to put a playful spin on it <laughs> like that guy screaming in the tunnel 100% is real 100% is real that, that spaceship firing a missile into the pyramids blowing up 100% real true black and white footage captured in a oh, no. machine. so we're just being no. we're just making fun but we do actually believe everything we're <laughs> 
start with Ralph Scientologist knocking at a door next. <laughs> It does look as if it's going into the mountain. Could be some sort of secret entrance. Now, it looks like it's going into the mountain. Seriously, that's your observation. <laughs> it's poured concrete. <laughs> I was looking into the garden. Somebody <laughs> sent a coordinate. Let's take a look at this place. Ooh. This is... Somebody sent coordinates of where it is. <laughs> the coordinate itself. Check this out. Oh wow, that's 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 somewhere. He's at right now. No one to see that. This is the place. Okay. This could not Weird, right? be real as well. Like, mm. I'm, I'm just being honest. Map, like, or just because you got a map, like you're moving around doesn't mean it's real. Is mm. a lot of people Especially now with ray tracing. House. But that is the coordinates there. Forty. Nineteen. Fourteen. North. Can we search that? I mean, you could do. You could put what that is... in, uh, in uh, Google and uh, it'll put it on the map for you. So what, just type in that? If it's Numbers a real coordinate, it. then yeah. Just go onto Google Maps, put that in and search. Okay. Can you read the number out to me, mate? So I can... Yeah. 40. 40 so degree. That... What's the degree symbol? How do I do that? Is it star? Not a star, is it? Uh... That would be a particular symbol, but um, do I have to put that in? Uh, no, just do 40 space 19, 40 one, space 19, space 14, 14 space north, n, yep, space 111, 111, yep, yep, space 39, 39. Space 11. Space 11. Space West, like W. Okay, let's click on that. <laughs> what have I got here? I've got a church. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a church. Now, nah, it's probably um, just one of the ridges near. Oh, no, I've got it. Uh, yeah? Well there. Got it. The Google image has put a church up, but when I zoomed in on the actual satellite map, it's come mm. up. So let's see if we can share this one. Oh, there we go. See, people? We go one step further because we believe. <laughs> let's share the screen. Uh, Let me share yeah. my Google Maps. There we go. Now, you can see this. Let's pop it off a minute. And there it is. So we're going to zoom it in. So that's the coordinate so next to it. So it's a church. Apparently it's a church on this left thing here. But apparently it's a church, yeah. The church is there, apparently. I, mean, I don't know how you get to that one. <laughs> but that's it there, isn't it? So I mean, I'm not like, I'm sorry, but looking at the colour of the satellite image, right, of the landscape, that's quite white, sandy rock, right? Yeah. Looking at the image of the church, I'm seeing a bit of grass there. I'm seeing some <laughs> trees. I'm not seeing a lot of trees and grass there. Maybe oh. there in Orchard North, right? Maybe. Or Mount Chapinus Park or uh, <laughs> Chapaginus, what, whatever it's pronunciation. Sorry for butchering it. But yeah, it's not there, is it? Let's be honest. And it's not that far from civilization. No, no. So it's. I mean, again, no. it could just be an access panel for lights. It could be, couldn't it? It could be an access. There's, a, there's a lot of tracks. I mean, look, there's a track that runs from it down this path here into this. Now, what's this? What's this building? for different types of buildings that we might associate with a different shape if that makes sense from the air like all right so look it comes but from it that, could um, be anything i don't it know come, it comes from here lee it runs down this path yeah oh there's very visible a road right into this massive building here right or, or track it could be anything it could be a power station it could be 
But it's, it's fenced off and it looks like a field, doesn't it? A growing field. Does it look like a horse stable? No, 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 no. That is not a field, dude. No, 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 no. That is completely flat. That image, at, that, that bit at the front and yeah. that bit at the side, they're ramps that go down. It's either that or that is the roof that we're seeing. That looks like a cattle field where you feed animals. It's a lot of tr troughs and stuff, doesn't it? No. Not that there? Dude. No. And they're like the pump things that you... No, that's not what it looks like to me at all. Hmm. But again, don't know. We're speculating, completely speculation. But that, to me, looks like um, it's underground. What you're seeing is the roof of whatever that is, whether that's above ground or underground. I think it's underground. And those boxes are where it goes down, a ramp down into them. Like that's an out, outhouse, like an uh, outhouse. Shit. Uh, <laughs> it's an uh, external building. It's above ground. And yeah. the other one looks like it goes down. And you look at that road, it goes around the whole thing. It could even be a prison because of how close to civilization it is, yet the distance it is. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It could be anything. I'm just seeing if there's anything. any it's private land because Google can't go on it. Could be I mean, anything. I mean, you can see the fence around it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's definitely underground. That could be anything. Mm. But the fact that you've got a thing in each corner as well, which looks like an outlet pipe. Mm. Yeah. Suggests to me that there's something underground there, which could be anything. Again, could be anything. Could be waterworks. Yeah. Could be anything. Could be absolutely anything. Again, just because you see something concrete, especially in the middle of nowhere, that so happens to be in a mountain or a valley mm. that has really hard rock and reliable. Mm. The likelihood of it being military is up there, you know? It could be absolutely nothing, you know? Uh, it could be absolutely something. Either which way, yeah, it's not aliens. It's not, you know, some conspiracy. No. It could be. Is, <laughs> it's not even hidden, though. It's on a main path. It looks it's, like it's, con it's connected to this, whether this is somewhere, by the cover of the road, where they extended it on. Compared to Whatever these roads, it is, it's it's nothing extraordinary. Let's no. put it that way. It's nothing no. extraordinary. No, still cool, but cool, absolutely, yeah. All of the knows. stuff on here so far has been interesting. Mm. It's just not creepy or a conspiracy or something extraordinary, like yeah, you know? yeah. Not 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 to crap on whatever's going area. on. Yeah. And take Super Mario Bros. style. The <laughs> I don't think so. It's to the underground tunnels. Yeah, it looks as if it could be or this is a bunker that has air conditioning. The small square is a drain for the condenser. Uh, no, not sure though. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. What do you guys think? Have you ever? It's underground. Like Whatever it is, it's underground. Mm. Whatever There's requires to go underground, and a lot of stuff requires to be underground. About not just bunkers. So there are loads of videos that are going. Yeah. Plus, that doesn't oh, look to deep enough to be a nuclear bunker. No. A command center? Yeah, maybe, but not. Uh... Mm. I was about to say, what is that in his eye? But it's the guy's mouse cursor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, it's the, the clicker. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's a massive bit of sleep there. <laughs> he needs to wipe that. 
I can't watch that, but he's, sun, he was. <laughs> a lot of people who are starting to realize there's something off about the sun in this particular summer, mainly in the United States. I found a couple of videos. Check this out. This is crazy. So I need to ask y'all a question real quick on some real serious. Like maybe like two or three weeks ago, have anyone felt like a weird ass difference? Like they came out the house, it was a normal day, and you just felt weird as. Now see, look, the yeah. thing is, right? I'm on. <laughs> and. <laughs> Bro, I came outside one day, hit the sun and everything. I was feeling cool. Five minutes yeah. later, I start feeling weird. Bro, like my head was feeling weird. Everything ah, okay. Was weird, bro. So okay. The thing that yeah. funny thing is, uh, I've talked to a couple of people personally, and they they told me the same thing that when yeah. they go out Add in the sun for about five, six, ten minutes, they start weird, uh, feeling like they're dizzy, their energy drops, uh, they feel weak. Kind of weird. Yeah. Really worried, right? So I many explanations like that there could be, oh. especially in America, especially what looks like it could be either California or Florida. But how can they just relate it to the sun? But, uh, again, like they go, oh, like I'm fine yeah. indoors, I'm fine. And then I go outdoors, I'm in the sun, I feel all right. But then all of a sudden I feel like crap. Yeah. So like, okay, yeah, but again, it could be a number of things. Fine, oh, fine. Yeah. If it's the sun, cool, it's all right. Let, let's say that it's the sun. But if you're living in California, Florida, where like the sun is like low, mm. hot, where cancer is really high because of that, you know, it could be due to the sun because it's so hot, you're dehydrated. Maybe you're you're going through heat stroke. It could be and it's a drug related it could be a number of things you know could be anything it could it? be environmental so, yo, it could bro, be anything like, i don't know what it was bro but i just came outside i was feeling weird as shit, right he was like yo bro i was just feeling weird as shit, too so i'm like no oh my God. cousin yeah because you're going a on, person bro, and i know y'all know <laughs> there's something going on bro a lot of people don't like to discuss how they feeling right but i'm on yeah some, bro it's some major weird on either with the sun either with these you know what i'm saying that's around us or something like that it's all i know y'all been seeing people talk it's about drug the related I know dude i've been seeing people talk about the sun it's either the sun or the things that are around us or yeah what what people uh air what i mean that's not really a weird video that's just some guy saying i went outside i felt sick <coughs> It's, but dude, like, here's the thing: you feel a certain way. There's gonna be at least ten people. You ask so many people. You ask a hundred people. There's gonna be at least one person who turns around and says, "Yeah, I felt this exactly the same way." Mm. Because it's human nature. Like people, like it. It you know, it, again, it could be anything. If everyone you turn around to and said, like, guys, like, I'm feeling really strange. And it explained it, it's especially eloquently enough that other people mm. would be like, oh, yeah, I feel exactly the same. This guy is not speaking eloquently enough to be like, oh, yeah, I feel exactly the Oh, yeah, I feel really weird. Yeah, yeah, we all feel weird, mate. So what? You know, like, oh, I feel really, no, no, it's when I came out of the house. Yeah, maybe you've got a agoraphobia, brother. Maybe you just don't like leaving the house. Maybe you've got something you need to work for. No, no, no you don't understand. It's the sun or it's <laughs> the things that are floating around us. Right, dude. Maybe you should, whatever you're taking, just maybe start cutting back on it. Like, well, I'll tell you something, Lee. I believe every word he said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all I'm saying, right? I believe I'm it. Not, again, like, I know it sounds like I'm being really judgmental. Right. Achoo! Sorry, that was I the sun yesterday. I can't exactly like people say you look up at a bright light, you sneeze. Mm. True, it's true. Mm. What causes that? We don't know. So, like, maybe it could be something like that. All I'm saying is that what's not helping this bloke is the fact that he's not able to maybe fully express what he's he, he, he can't explain what he's experiencing mm. so that people can go oh yeah i feel exactly the same do you know what i mean mm. it's left to interpretation
It's too yeah. vague. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, it's the sun. It could be that he's just seeing things. I don't know. But then there's this video. Right. This all used to be grass. This used to be a field of grass. It's been so hot <laughs> here in Florida, and I made a video about it uh, the other day. Florida! But, all right. Um, I just want to, you know, kind of show you guys how bad it is where I'm at. Right now, I'm standing in one of my horse pastures. I do rotate my horses out between this one and two other uh, areas. And the reason I've been rotating them out so often this year is because the grass just isn't growing. Usually at this time, I cut my grass about twice a week. And this year, I haven't cut my grass in three weeks. Watch this. This used to be plush green grass. All of this. Look at this. It's not watered enough. <laughs> this is now Which makes sense. It's been hot there. The sandbox. Like, fires everywhere. Hot. Like. This is what's happening in North Florida right now. Well, yeah, it's kind of creepy. I mean, I do know that sand... That's not creepy. That's... Sand passes across continents, doesn't it? Sand, they, they have Sahara Desert sand oh, in yeah. like South America. But like... we, we, have, we have sand here. Like, one mm. of the reasons why, like, a lot of invaders in the past have loved the north here is the amount of sand and uh, tin and other sort of natural sources that can be turned into stuff like glass and, you know, silica and what, everything else. Like, um, it's it's part of normal geography and places. Like, but, like, Bartlett Park, for example, very sandy park. During the summer... There'd be a weird patch, a weird circle patch that always, like, the grass would just go away. And it would just be sandy, dusty soil, like, dead soil, no life, nothing's going to grow there. Yeah. That, I think what that, that is, I just did a search in it, because I remember seeing a documentary about it. there's a species of animals in South America that live because of the African sand that comes over. 27 million tons of sand passes every year from Africa to South America. Florida's right. not that far from north of South America. No, it's it's, um, it's in the the so, Bay of the, the Caribbean, right? It's like, yeah. right, so know, it, it, if more than anything, I reckon it's to do with that that Miami. wind changes direction slightly. It takes a, a, a large lump sum. It's not like it's if he got it throughout winter and it continuously happened. Maybe then you think, oh, that's weird. <laughs> but if he's got it through the height, of when it here, happens, right. yeah. Hmm. Is that, but again, like even if it's just the ground, like it's always hot there, but it's, it's been extraordinarily hot the past couple of years, hasn't it? Yeah. Especially noticeably in America, you know. Mm. But yeah, th that that's not your horses eating your all of your grass. Mm. That's not over over grazing. Um, that. Because it would be patchy, you know. Mm. It wouldn't be sparse or dead, you know. Um, yeah. That's just the, the whatever grass species it is isn't growing in that type of soil. Mm. A lot of videos, if you search for it, you'll find lots of videos of people saying the same thing that they're feeling that there's something off about the sun and, that, and all that. I don't know. What about you guys? <laughs> what do you think? They get, dude, they get a lot more of it. If anything, right? Like, if anything is true about that statement, is that they get a lot more of it compared to us. That's mm. for damn sure. So, yeah. maybe they're just not drinking enough water. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm sorry to power it off to something. On, so on NASA's cool. website, they say 43 million tons of dust travels farther to settle out well on the Caribbean Sea as well. There so, you go. Like it's, you know, it's, I believe it's just dust from you've, Africa. You've got over. the weird sort of like yeah. over and under, you know. Because it's always going to fluctuate. Maybe this year was just a heavy amount of dust that that sand that passed over. Maybe next year it'd be a bit less. Could it be anything. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I oh, I get I, I get his still... point though. If, if you were at this pasture for years and and it's always green, you swatch horses, and one year you go there and it's just sand, you would go. That's a bit weird. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still finding it hard to see the relevance in any of these videos. Mm. What is creepy? 
Yeah, the title doesn't really say it. Like, no one is talking about these creepy videos. It, it, it's it's clickbait title. Mm. The only one was creepy was the one that was com- complete, completely and utterly real. Um, <laughs> that was the only creepy right. one. Yeah, yeah, that that kind of was horror esque <laughs> theme. Yeah, 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 yeah. I give you that. I give you that. I give I you these, that. I these get better. So these coming in from Chip. Ah! This, this is the guy ah, I recognise. Okay, all right. It's creepy. It's officially <laughs> creepy. Yeah, it, it's true. <laughs> it's I, real. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just jealous. He has more hair than me. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon fells on TikTok and he works delivering products to companies. And in one of these deliveries, he had a very bizarre encounter with what he is saying is a shapeshifter. This is really creepy. <laughs> Check this out. Okay. So today, uh, oh, hey. I experienced something that I've never experienced in my life before. It freaked me out. I thought I was crazy. Still haven't processed it fully. So, as I do every week, twice a week, I make deliveries to the same guy. I've been doing it for seven months. And it's the same guy every time I walk in. He's got a big garage. This sounds like it's going to be a really good one. Just like a couple of like the others. <sighs> he ruined it. Part. Yeah, I, he I, ruined I, it. I was enjoying that story then. I was literally, I was like, literally, the first thing that came into my head when I started listening to him is, the way he's reacting, mm. whatever it is, I believe he believes it. Yes, this yes, guy same, yeah. experienced something that generally is probably confused him, freaked him out, hard to process. Like he said, mm. I'm still processing it. All of that come across completely genuine to me. Yeah, this guy, I feel, like, I, I feel that this guy, I believe this guy believes whatever this is going to be. Like, yeah, yeah, same, you know? yeah, same, yeah. Don't trust his face there, though, don't I? But otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Always freeze frame. Walk for a minute, he walk, I walk away. I go, on my business. Today, I walked in, and he had his back to me, and he was working on his bench. And he must have heard me coming. I don't know, because I was actually pretty quiet, I thought. But when he turned around, I jumped and kind of grabbed my mouth like that because I didn't know what to think. And he laughed a little bit and he called me jumpy. And, he's, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm just not feeling very good. And I handed him his part and I was like, hey, I, I got to go. The reason I reacted I that way... i got goosebumps already. Gosh. What is he going to say? Is because when I looked at him, he was different. Wait, wait, wait! I'm gonna hide myself here. He's wait, dead. Wait, I'm already scared. Right, I've I've got a feeling the guy's passed and he didn't know. Like, he just mate, didn't see I've got right. goosebumps just from that, would he? Well, this is Why what he's... I mean. Like, he, whatever it is, this yeah. guy genuinely had an experience. Good. Yeah. What's gonna happen? He didn't look like the same guy I saw every other time. First thing I saw was he had no color in his eyes. What? They were completely black. Like, black. Okay. like you couldn't even see reflections. It was just a black mass. I mean, that that can happen. And for some reason, his ears were kind of weird, and they had, like, this little point like that. Ah, uh, you got to be joking. Right. Okay. All right. I don't know I... what that was. <clears throat> Excuse me. But then I was talking to my friend, and he sent me an article about them saying that a new disorder that's coming out where people are starting to see demon faces yeah i saw that and i immediately found new disorder they're saying that- i've heard this disorder they're it's it- not it's not a, a new disorder um it i was going to say this guy feels i i'm i'm not a fucking doctor it's called pmo so like that Prosopomitamoporopapacia or PMO. Right. It's when you believe you see faces distorted or demonic looking. Um, but this that, that happens a lot with people who don't sleep properly. When they say new disorder, what they're saying by that is in the last six months. Oh, it's year, resurfaced. It's 
being diagnosed like exponentially just shot up. Yeah. And yeah, everyone's been hit. everyone's yeah. it's almost like they've been taught in, in a new lecture or something. The everyone's been like, diagnosed history, you look at history, it's a very common thing, mm. right? In history. And people palm it off. Oh no, but people were extra religious back then. It could be um superstition and people just being afraid because they don't understand. It's like or it could be um Sorry for using this. I don't know any other way of wording it. If there is a, a, a better way of wording it, but mental illnesses and different uh, neurological, you know, mm. neurodiversity back then wasn't understood. People who had epileptic fits were considered to be witches doing spells like... Mm convulsing really like oh they're they're, they're demons they're, they're they've been possessed it's like okay yeah sure but but like seeing stuff and that like is very it's more common than what people might think like mm. throughout history but like what is it like what causes that like yeah. and especially if you're you're not been diagnosed with anything before and everything's been you know there's nothing in your family that's known and that you know that's quite interesting you know to have mm. like almost not to put on the same degree as mass hysteria but you know a, a lot of people having being in the same thing having the same experience mm. very interesting as I still say, like, regardless, like, whether I be believe demons or not, like, you know, I have my own views on that sort of stuff, right? Mm. As sarcastic as it might sound at the moment. But I still stand by that this guy ha genuinely had an experience. Yeah. Let's see what he says, carries on with. Go back a bit. God, this is not good. What's going to happen? He didn't look like the same guy I saw every other time. See, I feel that. First that thing I saw real. You've had that experience, though, yourself, right? Mm. Maybe that's, that's what, what I mean. So have I. That's why I had as well. Like and it was a really bad moment. They turned out to be not a right, a right person. No. And for but, some reason, you know, his ears were it's, it's, that's what I mean. It's a like human experience. Like ah, you gotta be joking, man. I don't know what that was. <clears throat> Excuse me, but then I was talking to my friend, and he sent me an article about them saying that a new disorder that's coming out where people are starting to see demon faces. Yeah, I saw that, and I immediately thought it was weird that they're saying this is a new disorder. What do you mean a new disorder? What is going on? Why? What happened? What changed? What glitch in the matrix is this? What's, what Mandela effect is this? That this new disorder now exists and it didn't <laughs> before. Is it completely different television? Things, is like it video it. games? Is it the food we're eating? Or is it something else entirely, right? So, huh. I, can't, I still can't process it. I can't. <sighs> I don't know. And like ever since the eclipse, it's, I find it funny. I, the clouds look different. Yeah. Well, he goes on. He seems legit freaked out about it. So there's a part two and a part three, okay. which makes I... this even more interesting. Check this out. I have a mass. Okay, so there's a part two. This is a different video. Yeah. This is an update. Different said. day. Oh His hair has grown. Yeah, you said it's an update. Yeah. But I'm I saying it's not the next day. <laughs> no, no. You think he says? Is it, um makes this even more interesting check this out i have a massive update yeah. about the guy saw with black eyes i've been tossing this up in the air for a little bit whether i should post a video or not and i decided to just because i promised a few people that i would keep them updated on what happened i'm a little confused i'm not gonna lie I went into work this morning, my boss told me because Monday is a holiday, he's like, why don't you go ahead and do your Monday route today, that way we don't have to worry about it. Awesome. So I get in my van, I'm making deliveries, I had to stop at that guy, that guy's company. 
I didn't see him in the window. I dropped the part like normal. I got like maybe a mile down the road. I just pulled over because everything in my stomach, in my gut, in my heart was like, you know what? Maybe you should have done this before, but let's Google his name. Whoa. And I Googled his name. I have more questions now than I did before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because the first thing that popped up was his face. And underneath it, it said obituary. What? That he died in October yeah. of 2020. Told ya. Oh I gosh. saw that coming a fucking mile away, bro. Told you right in the beginning. He's oh dead. Gosh. The, the guy's not dead. Somebody has done identity theft. Oh my I'm 100% sure that I am of right frame of mind. Yeah, dude, I you just freaked out because a parts. lot of weird coincidences. So that tells me that I handed my parts to. The reason I don't think I don't believe the identity theft thing that is the fact the first part was he had black eyes and pointy ears and he was different, so yeah. he'd never seen him before. So that right, but that seen him, but he had seen him plenty of times before, not like that. So, then that's, so it's not identity theft, is it? Because you, why would he still no, be? No, 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 no. He's seen a person, right? He Googles the name, right? The name comes up dead, right? Now, so many people with the same name, dead, right? But even if it was the same person, it is so well known with identity theft and stuff for people just continuously using a name where yeah, somebody passed. He said it, the person's picture was there, so he, it's the same person that he'd oh, been speaking he, to. I don't think he said that. I didn't hear that. But if he did... Yeah, he did. And underneath it, it said obituary. Sure he did. No, he said he... Like normal. Yeah. I got like exactly. maybe a mile down the road. I just pulled over because everything in my stomach, in my gut, in my heart was like, you know what, maybe you should have done this before, but let's Google his name. Whoa. And I Googled his name. I have more questions now than I did before. Oh my gosh. Because the first thing that popped up was his face. Yeah, his face. And underneath it, it right. said obituary. All right. what? Okay. He died in October of 23. Oh. Now, if, if, all right. <laughs> Again. I, I, I can see why the guy is probably freaked out if he's seen something like that. Now, well, the guy's been again, dead the entire, the entire again, time. Right. He's been for seven months. He's been delivering to him twice a week. Yeah, same and, face as the newspaper. But that one day before, before was when he saw the black eyes and pointy ears, and the, and the weird "you're jumpy" feeding that he said to him. Yeah, but he was already dead. Yeah, so um, who's delivering stuff to a dead person? Who's ordering stuff? Well, he's delivering, it, he's delivering it to the company, and that guy was receiving the parcels. So that guy owned the company who died. So, so okay, so all right, so it he's the only person who's experienced this person then. You don't know. Don't know. Like that, that, that really, that if that was the case, right? If it turned out like that, and he's of sound mind, and there's no mm. nothing in the family or history that would indicate, oh, you know, something going on upstairs in, in his head, mm. um, like mental illness, what have you. Um, that, I mean, that would certainly rattle me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but like, hmm. there's so much that again, like, again, the person's face, obituary. If you hadn't seen that already, right? Then, yeah, very weird. If hmm. anything. This is the only one so far that actually fits the fucking title. Yeah, the yeah, oh my definitely. Gosh. You know what I mean? Was I hearing parts to a ghost? Oh my gosh.
Oh my I'm gosh. I'm hundred percent sure that I am of right frame of mind. I know I was handing that guy parts. So that tells me that I handed my parts to somebody that died in October. Oh my gosh. But why? How is that possible? Why were his eyes black and why did he have pointy ears? I mean, like, this is super creepy. Because something is not right. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't matter whether the person's there or not. Yeah. You know, as in physically I mean, there or you're perceiving them. The thing is, when you're. When a person is ill and they're under the 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 going through an episode of a delusion, they're in it. What they see is real. They truly believe because they see it. Mm. It's there. It's happening. They feed it. It's happening. You know. But you you could tell them in a moment. No, no, it's not. They don't believe you. They'll just look at you like, how, how can you tell me that? I stop, like, basically, stop gaslighting me. That is, ha look, they're right there. Mm. You know? So, it is so hard to distinguish between those two things. Even if you are professionally trained and know what the fuck you're looking for and talking about, again, just listening to the guy, right? I like I said, whatever the story was, I I genuinely believe that this guy had an experience, right, that freaked him out. He's questioning stuff because of it. Mm, mm -hmm. We've all had stuff like that, you know. Logical thinking through it or not, there are mm. stuff that rattle people, and this would certainly rattle me if I had an experience the way that he's worded it. Yeah, and you true. can tell he's full about it because yeah. he's taking his time with words and stuff. Even if he was acting, mm. this is goddamn class A acting. Like yeah, it's, it's too real. It's not like over dramatic. Is it, so. Right. It's, this is what I'm talking about about being human mm. about something. You know, you but can see it. Seven months, he was handing two parcels a week, car parts to a company, and the man was receiving them, taking the parcels. And then one day he sees him and he has black eyes and pointy ears, makes him jump and he feels weird. He searches his name, finds that he died at October 23. So he'd been giving him parcels for them that amount of time. So, but it's in the same. So he's from the same place, right? Yeah. How, how small is this community? Would he have read this and glanced over it and not realized, you know, register? Do you know what I mean? There's so mm. much that. But still, it doesn't matter how, whether it explained or not, you know. Um, still doesn't that even it, that part it, still doesn't change what you saw. Mm. It's unnerving. Mm. It's unnerving. His experience of something like that, it's clearly unsettled him. And, you know, I, I can certainly feel that I empathize that, you know. Mm. I, 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 I believe him. I handed my parts to somebody that died in October. Oh my gosh. But why? How is that possible? Why were his eyes black and why did he have pointy ears? I mean, like, this is super creepy. The next time I see that company, I'm mm. going to walk in and ask them about him. You should. And I think he does. Hey, so I got an update on the guy I saw with the black eyes and the pointy ears. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my profile. It's all pinned. Be able to catch up that way. So today I made a delivery to that company. And luckily for me, there was a mechanic standing out front. I walked over and I asked him a couple questions about the, the old man that used to work there. And he said, yeah, the owner passed away in October. He died of brain cancer. And that the guy's daughter was now running the company. And, you know, I was going to ask a few more questions, but then the dog oh, came outside. Whoa. And the mechanic was like, oh, this guy over here is asking questions about your uh -oh. dad. I was just filling him in a little bit. And, and she looked at me and she was like, yeah, do you have any questions you want to ask? And then I said, no. And I said, the only thing that I want to say is, I'm sorry, this is a late response. And I was like, but I just wanted to say I'm sorry for your loss and my condolences. Yeah, I think I think he did the right thing. I don't know about you guys, but I think he did the right thing. And I gave her a hug, and she said thank you. And I yeah, was like, I mean, like, how would you that that away. would just come across as either though you're playing a sick joke, yeah, or like 
Um, yeah, it wouldn't have come across as genuine, there's, there's, even though there's no way you yeah. can say, it, is there? Like, no, no, yeah, I, I, I think no, I've been, I've been yeah, delivering parcels to your dad for seven months. Um, while he was dead, he's been standing there, and by the way, he's got black eyes and pointy ears, <laughs> right? Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, whether it was whether it, whether it's real or not, as in, like, mm. not what he experienced was real, that's quite clear. You know, he experienced mm. something. But whether what he experienced was happening in real life, like to everyone else, you know, like someone else saw it at the mm. same time, they would go, what the fuck is going on there? Mm. Um, but this is with him for life now, because he's never going to be able to ask those questions. Right. And, he's, and he's just going to be like... <laughs> right. But, you know, we've all had, um, a lot of people at least, you know, I've had an experience where you've looked at someone or you've seen someone that doesn't look right and it mm. turns out to be they're not a right, there's a right sort of person. There, there's something very off about them mm. uh, that comes out or something's happened to them, you know? But, like, again, the way that I would explain that, how I feel and see that is we calculate stuff all the time. We're amazing at calculating stuff, right? Our brains are supercomputers, right? Um, and there's stuff that goes on that we don't understand. And there's a lot of symbology you know, especially culturally through people. And we see stuff in ways that we understand subconsciously, but when we truly think about it and bring it to the surface, it's kind of surreal. It doesn't really make sense, you know? Because mm, mm. um, it's old, you know, whether it's in the reptilian brain or whether, you know, whatever it is, you know, whatever you believe, at the end of the day, we see something that allows us to consciously perceive it as though, oh, hold on, what's going on here? You know, like that, that's how I see it. Um, but again, you know, experience uh, is a very personal thing. No one has the same experience, even if you're experiencing the same thing at the same time. With different mm. people, we experience life differently. Mm. Doesn't matter. Again, whatever happened, you know, the ghosts set aside, you know, again, I'm not saying I don't believe, but I've not found any proof myself, truly, mm. right? Personally, right? That's what I'm saying. But if I had that experience, I certainly would be rattled as well. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. Absolutely. And I got in my van and I left. Okay, so this is super creepy. I mean, like, the guy died in October 23, and and so who is it that he was delivering the products, right? Well, 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 it seems that there are more people seeing... It was not human, okay? <laughs> Are you talking about her? Are they talking about oh. non-human entities walking around? Let's check this out. This I've is got a feeling it's probably a response to it. Uh. That is walking this earth, and they are not human. I was saying, oh. I just okay. came from Kroger's. I just got off of work. I went to go pick up a few items. I go to the bread aisle. Now, the bread aisle is super long. I'm at one end of the bread aisle. There's a guy that's about All three, right. four for the way down in the bread aisle. He got a cart. I got a cart. He's looking at me. And you know how you can see out your peripheral that somebody's staring at you. Yeah, sure. He sure. ain't just looking, but he's staring at me. All right. I kind of look his way. He's still staring. I go ahead All and right. I get my bread. I go back around the other way because I'm going to the international aisle to get some pasta and some other stuff. While I'm in the international hour at one end, this guy comes around and he's at the top of the same aisle. 
So he's a bit stalky at the moment. I right, so he's son. being creepy, right? Mm. Looking at me. Now, mind okay. you, there's a couple of things that I need to get out of that aisle. So the first part of the aisle, I grab what I need to grab, and I go about midways down. He's mm. at the other end. So he's staring at me still. So I kind of look at him, and I go like, how do you give somebody that type look? He's still staring. <laughs> so I'm looking right. for what I'm looking for. I can't really find it because he's, he's looking to rob you. He's staring. Mind you, this Is man don't have nothing on... in his car. He's Drugs. not even turned to look at any food. Empty car. He's looking directly yeah, it's, at he's, 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 time, yeah, like, so he's you know looking what? to rob you or he's obsessed with so you? I turn he's... to look at him. Y'all, when I tell you, this you know, hi, man what? stared at me. All right. And his eyes turned black. Oh my Everything God. Everything in his, right. his whole eyeball, not oh just my the pupil, the white part turned completely black. Yes. He looked, it said black and not yeah. be drugs. Yeah, no, there, the there are there are I tell you I left that car certain shapes of faces when your left pupils are fully dilated, like whether it's drugs, uh mental state, like it, whatever would affect your eyes, like most commonly is drugs, but still like when your eyes are fully dilated, depends on the like, source of light as well. I mean, my like eyes this... don't always look squinty anyway. Like I've got barely any white, so you imagine my eyes being fully dilated. Mm. It, and especially in certain light, you know, some people's eyes look pitch black. Yeah, I've been asking. I'm on drugs before by doing my live streams because this light behind yeah. the camera when I'm close yeah. to it. It goes right into me, I and mean, your eyes go either like pins and needles because the light, or they go really thingy because of the the light difference. That, that's normal. Like, and the yeah. eyes, go, yeah. But to people, like there's a picture of my eyes full black, and they're like, "Donnie used to be on drugs." Because I remember someone <laughs> asking me, "Do you do drugs?" And I was like, "No." They went, "Look at your photo." Uh, went, it would stay that like was, that with light on your eyes. Like, that's that's just you know. the light on my eye adjusting yeah. to it. There's uh, like, okay. Uh, if your eyes are like the saucers with light shining in. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, that's the indicator. Not out, not. and I came home. There is stuff. There is beings that is walking in this earth, and they at the store. They at whatever. They look like us and everything else, but they are not human. Oh my gosh, that is freaky, bro. Oh my this gosh, is this is the second time someone like this. Let me check her profile. Like comedy basically comedy videos weird right that she's talking about this i mean like most of these videos seem to be comedy videos she's like i don't know yeah, yeah again is like, I mean, like it it's just a goddamn experience and mm. if it's mm. recently right there are new drugs on the street uh, there's one i think it's called trank okay where it's the new spice Okay, it's yeah. a, a, a a legal chemical high sort of thing that basically it, it fucks people up. It okay. zombifies them. Um, but like they they just end up like in a daze, like staring. So the UK like is zombie. Like UK is know? banning trank, the flesh rotting zombie drug. That's it. Yeah, it's. It is oh, everywhere. It's but been like, found in in vapes as well. Yeah, yeah, it's in all sorts of stuff. <laughs> like it because it, it's a, a xylazine oh, tranquilizer. Right, uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a type of tranquilizer, and it's trank. But um, yeah, Zyl like it could be a street drug. It could be. Um, mental disorders it could be so many different types of stuff right from both the people who are experiencing this imagery and uh, or the people who are actually the image itself the point of ears thing like is mm. interesting yeah out of all these black eyes that's common right point of ears that's very mm. hollywood-esque do you know what I mean? Seeing like 
where if people like when people say like morphing they don't talk about they either talk about full on into something else or they mean like they're they're not really present like they're either see-through or they're like made of gas they're not really there like they're shifting almost like a mirage Hmm. you know what i mean like in the heat you know the image moves um so like things are distorted but like specifically going oh they had pointy ears black eyes oh and he was already dead you know yeah it's like come on man how many hollywood tropes do you want to throw on one thing the, mm. that guy truly had an experience of like i something felt weird about a person and it turns out that that person was dead so wow okay like that's happened in the past people have spoken about that sort of thing and it's creepy and you feel for the guy because like you you can tell you can feel he generally had an experience same thing really with that woman like again i'm not gonna say oh demon or they're not human or whatever but like Mm -hmm. you're in um a supermarket a 24-hour supermarket at night time right where it's pretty dead and you can see down all of the aisles and everything and then one person the only person that is near you or that is around is just staring at you Mm. i don't care whether that is a ghost story or not that's that's unnerving man you don't want to have that to happen to you like again it would either be a what what like you would eventually get pissed off and be either be aggressive or be freaked out and just leave like you know what she was saying like given the face like what you know hmm. yeah absolutely and if there's something carried on d- yeah okay i'm gonna leave you here bye i'm not gonna stay here and be stabbed thank hmm. you goodbye yeah. it's unnerving yeah. regardless it's not yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to think of her one. It wasn't sort of anything untoward. It does seem it potentially was more, like you said, drug related, maybe, or it's hard to say, but it's still unnerving and spooky having a guy fully around and just staring at you with nothing in his trolley and stuff. And the last yeah. two were just, they, they were genuine experiences yeah. that would be unnerving. You know, yeah, the guy's one. I'll be honest. I Spooky generally, aside, just I, generally I believe, he, I believe his story. Um, I believe he believes what he believes, and I also believe his story. Um, what well, you believe that he saw a dead person? He, he saw something. Yeah. Oh Not no, like, that's what I'm saying. I believe that he saw. I, I don't believe it was. But you don't think it was a ghost? I don't think it's mental health. I think he's whatever he saw. He saw something. How that was worked, I don't know. Well, I do, if it's not I believe a ghost, it, it would. I, 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 I do believe in demons. I do believe in demons and stuff. So, I believe in angels and demons as well, but as in, but, we are angels and demons, not as in there are right supernatural forces. That that, but that again, that is how I feel. Like mm. we are the gods, devils demons and angels that that we are that like um it's a romantic external poetic vision of it you know it's a way that we can read it and learn rather than just being completely sickened and shut down like you know but that again that's what i believe i'm not knocking anyone else's beliefs or experiences again no matter how i react to stuff right mm. That is me, and that's how I think and feel. Like it's, and again, it's nothing. No disrespect. It's just yeah. how well, I, am. I. I believe in the physical demons as well, as in what he sort of. Whether that was supernatural, demon, like yeah. supernatural beings. I believe, okay, I right, believe in yeah. demons. I believe demons influence the world. I believe. Yeah, I do believe that. I believe okay. Humans are generally seen, what, like know. in a biblical sense, yeah, like the fight of good and evil, sort of thing. You think there's an influence? Okay. Yeah. All uh, right. But I just love love to know what that was in that moment. What it was? 
what what it was that he saw there was a physical person standing in front of him that was physically able to receive the parcels and hold them ah now that's the thing that 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 doesn't actually have to be the case he could have just put it down on the table he could have done the action himself but experienced something mm. else that is what i'm saying like the the oh who received it no nobody could have been there it could have just been an open door and he's dropped it off and he's left it there and as he's left oh the mechanic who was standing outside that day might have been on shift and picks it up and whatever the daughter whoever's working there oh there's a parcel left here oh okay yeah cool sure strange that he didn't come and knock and talk to us or whatever but you know do you know what i mean like Mm. again like there is a way that you can logically go through it and explain it but that's an afterthought that's hindsight his experience isn't a a hindsight thing Mm. like even in hindsight he experienced it he's thinking over what he experienced what he Mm. saw what he experienced the guy might have just walked in and put it down somebody else watching him the guy might just be going oh blah 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 like a golem walking in like blah, 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 blah. oh yeah put it on the desk and then walk One away the and, he... blah, blah, and walk away it depends on the delivery company as well like in the uk now it's, bit. it's quite strict dpd business to business you can't just leave a parcel it has mm. to be signed for it has to be name given even houses now you have to stand there showing your leg with the parcel right you know? so that's one way he could validate it for himself as well. He could actually get his company to verify delivery orders, the PODs, pre for delivery. Yeah, but that, th- again, it's a hindsight thing. Like, it, but, only in that moment, if that had happened, yeah. That's what I mean. So if it did happen, all we need is one signature from that guy's name. It was dead. But that's what I mean. Like, did anyone ever sign for it? That's the question. Yeah, that's the question. Or was it just like the Royal Mail? Was it just mm. a post? Like... Hand it off, pop it through the latter box. Mm. That's what I mean. He might have just been talking to himself, put the parcel on the desk, right? Like the guy in his head might have gone, Oh, yeah, yeah, just pop it over there. Thank you. Oh, yeah. The guy might have never actually physically taken it from him. Mm. He didn't talk about that. He didn't actually go through his experience. Mm. He just put down the bullet points, the main yeah. points. I saw somebody who turned out they didn't look right. I've seen them a few times, and then all of a sudden they didn't look right. Remember, and then the next time I saw them, it turns out they're dead. He never knew him alive. The guy was dead oh, before he ever knew him. So he did, it wasn't even... Right, he never so, met him. That's why he didn't know what he looked like. Yeah, that's when he looks at the photograph in the picture. Well, he was like, you... "Wow!" Oh, uh, and again, so he never met him alive. and whatnot. It, again, there are weird ways in which the information is there. Yeah, but the guy was dead. Very yeah. unlike. No, no, I'm yeah. saying like if it's a small town, mm. like they have a gazette. Mm. The obituaries are in the Gazette. He mm. might have just glanced over it. The information's Maybe. in there. I'm saying, however unlikely, yeah, you know, there is it, still an explanation. I'm just mm. saying, like... If it had been just one thing, you go, yeah, because there's multiple facets to this, mm. it makes but it no, no, but more... It's own, but again, mm. like, the, the only, again, one thing that's making me not... All right, so I'll, all right, let me put it this way. One thing that makes me doubtful, oh, a ghost, it's only his side of the story. Mm. When you only have one side of the story, it's not the full story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's was the only one that sort of really pulled my interest. The others, yeah, I don't really know why they actually even got put on there, to be honest. They weren't. They weren't much, were they? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'll be honest, right? He was the only one that I did 
cool in the first couple of seconds, mm. right? Like what was going to happen, as it were. The rest, I I was watching with like, okay, what's going on? What's where's this going? Sort of thing, and it's just like really just bad, mm. just, just genuinely bad. Like not even trying, you know. Yeah, but more so it's that guy's reaction. Oh wow, yeah, this could be real. Please, thanks for joining us. This would be the long version. There will be individual videos out as well for each one. But let us know what you think. Did you believe any of them? Do you think we're a bit too pessimistic overall, or do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us, or do you think they're all true? Do you believe that that alien ship really blew up a pyramid? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> also, give us a like and a subscribe if you want to see more reaction videos, and you'll get Lee laughing more as well. Uh, Thanks for watching. Any final words to say to people? Uh, believe what you want to believe. Don't don't listen to a bald get like me. Quite a good one. Believe what you want to believe. Don't listen to us, but don't believe the CGI spacecraft one either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, you believe what you wish to believe. Wish to believe. Believe what you wish to believe. Right. Until next time. <laughs> oh, also, <laughs> if you want us to open up a new tab, which means we will delve deeper into the certain stories, maybe the guy with the delivery, we can do certain episodes where we just delve deep on one subject and actually search into things. So what city was it? Could we find how who the person was? Can we actually find the newspaper articles and stuff? Which city, where he's from, all that sort of stuff. Maybe we can delve a little bit deeper as we open new tabs. Thanks again.